All right, man, Torch the Talk, 12 o'clock show. Good afternoon to y'all. How y'all doing today, man? I hope y'all, hope y'all good. All right, man, so today's episode, today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, Jaguar Wright. Joe Buttons has spoken on her interview on Pierce Morgan, and um, I want y'all to hear this coming from Joe Buttons, you know what I mean, and what he has to say about it. Then I'll give my take at the end. So... This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. Also, all the beautiful, sexy ladies, that's where they're at over here, man. They're all over here. Trust me. I know. I see them all in the comments. All the beautiful, sexy ladies. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. So if you're new here, you want to find a beautiful, sexy lady, just don't harass her, man. Just get in the inbox. Be like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, I think you have all the donations. Cash at PayPal is in the description. Also, too, they called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Yeah, a million by Monday. Let me know where you're from, too. So, look, we're going to get into this clip. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, we'll be back to discuss. <laughs> all right, so let's go. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Let's get it. Uh, Jaguar, right? Oh, man. Jaguar, right? All I have written down in my notes is you people are still making Jaguar, right? A thing? Pierce Morgan. Y'all are making me have to talk about Pierce Morgan interviews now? Yeah. Y'all are still putting a mic in this bitch's face? How did she become the, I don't know what to call her, but she's like the... Spokesperson. Uh, for lack of a better word, like the ghetto oracle. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, Melissa, that was good. <laughs> the ghetto oracle. Bruh, I think I'm going to put that on the title. Yo, that's crazy. That's a good title. That's a good name for her. The Ghetto Oracle. <laughs> uh, well, I think the reason why, because we live in this age where sensationalism is a big thing. Now, I'm going to let them continue, but I'm just going to say this. The last time I did an episode on Jaguar, right, I had a lot of people in the comments going, coming crazy at me saying oh you don't know what you're talking about and all this stuff i knew i do know what i'm talking about we're all here for opinions you know what i'm saying we can go back and forth with opinions but we don't have no evidence of none of this stuff we can't go off of what she say you know what i'm saying because she is biased and she's not providing any proof now one person said in the comments you always coming at drake and you don't have any proof well actually we do have proof there's several people who said things, and he's on tape. And I want you to understand this. He's on tape with a young girl on stage. She clearly said that she was 17. And he said, why you look like that? You so thick. Then he said, after that, I like the way your breasts feel against my chest. I hope you had fun. So you can't tell me. That we have no evidence of Drake being a weirdo or PDF or whatever because he's on camera doing it. Now, as far as Diddy and Jay go, Diddy's on camera beating up uh, or doing some things to Cassie, which was egregious. We got that out the way, right? We all know we've seen that. But where is anything on Jay? She said Jay-Z was a monster and she said Jay-Z was a... a, a, a this his wife was a monster and they both was monsters but where what what evidence do you have of jay doing something now one of y'all said he did a song with foxy brown when she was 17 and in the song she said ain't no nigga like the one i got bro do you know that there are people who do songs with other people where the people are young crisscross was talking about shooting people in their music and they were young now i'm not saying that she should have been allowed to rap that but you can't come with this 
the, you can't be the moral police all of a sudden now, 20 years later, and you try to use that, or 40 years later in an argument. Well, she was 17 when she made that song, and she said, ain't no nigga like the one I got. But they wasn't messing around. I've never seen any evidence of Foxy Brown and Jay-Z messing around. Where? I, I've never seen that. So that's out. So it, it's, it's, she, this girl Jaguar, she says some things that could be true. But again, I keep telling y'all, people hide truths between two lies. That's how it goes. It's called true lies. <laughs> so well, let's keep it going. Like, how did that happen? Because she was a singer. And then all of a sudden, it's just she's just spilling tea all over the place, everywhere. That's not all of a sudden. It's been, she's she been, been doing this for about six, seven years now. Okay. Well, it's now, it's now, na- yeah, now, now it's like just, locked up. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, okay, maybe she what she's been, been saying might have some credence and, 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 and validity. Mm. So now it's like, oh. At no point will internet people want people to prove their validity. Like, that's, I thought about that last night. The whole I got receipts thing is people on the internet that have made that line lose lose its luster. Like- and and, and I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say this. I think it's very disingenuous and disgusting for a person to say they have evidence of people doing things to children and they don't release it until something happens to somebody. That lets me know. That you only have it, or if you if if you do have it, you might not have it. You might just be lying about it. That lets me know that the reason why you're not is because you're trying to blackmail somebody for money. That's it. Because there's no way in the world you're going to tell me that a person would have videos of child uh, uh, PDFs, and you're telling me that you don't give that to the authorities or release that on the person that you have it on. That's what that's about to me. So when you say you have all these videos, I think that that's disgusting for you to have the videos and not release it to the authorities and then go and turn around and say, I got all these tapes. Okay, if you got the tapes, then give them up. That line don't even hit like it's supposed to hit when it first hits. Yo, I got receipts. That mean I'm about to prove what I'm saying. I'll tell you a step further. Now it's just a threat. Now it's just a threat. It's just a threat. It's just a threat. Fucking receipts. I think it's weird when people know information about fucking sex trafficking rings and child molestation and all this shit and keep it in their phone. What the fuck are you... Like, you should be guilty of something too. (laughs) Now, I... I just said... (laughs) Yo, I'm telling you. That's crazy to me. that, that, That someone would have all this stuff and then pretend like... They'll say, well, I got it. And and don't give it up. You hold what you holding on to it for. I don't think it's tough to throw a volleyball in the ocean and hit water. And I feel like that's what this lady has been doing for quite some time. He said, I don't think it's tough to throw a volleyball into the water and hit the ocean. That's a really good saying. Basically saying like. You can you can throw all these accusations out there, but all the accusations you're throwing out there, it's just basically it's been like this, and you're just saying everything that everybody knows already. So you again with the whole thing with you throwing a bunch of stuff and you hit the bullseye. You can throw all these things, and you're gonna eventually hit something if you throw something somewhere. I understand exactly what he mean by that. That was a good analogy. She is grabbing the... Shotgun approach. Well, no, she's grabbing the salacious and very obvious headlines and expounding on them with shit. And again, I'm only saying this because I heard her say out of her mouth that she saw a video of Stevie J and Joe Budden fucking. So (laughs) I know... I know... (laughs) What? What? <laughs> she said what? She said what? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Again, I'm only saying this because I heard her say out of her mouth that she saw a video of Stevie J and Joe Budden fucking. So <laughs> I know, I know, I can say with 100% certainty, oh, that this lady just be saying shit to add to the luster of whatever the fuck she's saying. What if you ain't know it was a camera in that room? 
I've never been in any, <laughs> any compromising situation. I've never been <laughs> in any situation where someone tried to overtake. That's never. I don't fuck that's, with that's, you, that's, that's never happened. Did y'all hear uh, Star curse uh, Jaguar right out? <laughs> Did I absolutely Whoa. love that. Finally, somebody yeah. just said, "Yo, you dusty bird." And he tried. He tried to keep it cool for a minute. Too. He was. He, he really. He, he's like, "All right, look now." Look, wait, you ma'am, you, ma'am, listen. You're gonna, gonna try to mock me. This gonna go another way. You did. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a chance to speak. I'm gonna set some ground rules. Listen, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. And then I had enough. Gotta love big jersey. Now I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna. Uh, I might do that video too, just a bonus video. But I'm gonna throw that up there. Uh, her her interview with Star it really didn't go anywhere. She said some things, and uh, y'all see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and um. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, put it out. But um, this is what I'm saying: when you when you, you you when you throw a bunch of stuff out there, and this is what happens when you throw stuff out there at people. And some people know for a fact that they have the clear mind; and they could tell you, like, I don't know what you're talking about. That definitely didn't happen. And a lot of y'all just believe what she says because it sounds so believable, and it sounds like, oh well, these people are monsters. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people are monsters, but do, but you have to understand people make money off of this. She makes money off of this. She makes money off of saying things that could be true. You could push it all the way to the line. You could push the lie all the way to the front of the line of the truth. This is what happens. They do this all the time. They push it all the way to the front just so, just so they can get it as close to the truth as possible. And you will fold. Most of the time, y'all don't even y'all fold before they even start pushing. Like, yeah, uh, Puffy said, yeah, 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 he is. Yeah, Jay Z is. Yup, yup, yup. Before you, before she even say anything, because y'all already have this this uh mentality that's already been inserted into your brain that Jay Z is a bad guy, Beyonce's a bad girl. Oh, he he must be bad. You know what I'm saying? He's he's twenty years older than Beyonce. He has to be bad. There's no way in the world they, they could be a good couple. There's no way. But then you flip that and you say, well, uh, you women, women mostly want older men. But on the flip side, if a man wants a younger woman, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> you can't win. You can't win. Yeah, I'm just I'm just amazed at people's ability to listen to this girl. But I mean, I know it. it it's people, know, people like that. Shit, so yeah. They love this, especially shit. some conspiracy theory what? shit with some celebrity. Yeah, forget about did some I mess. miss how that devolved so quickly? When she, she, she started told, mocking him, she because mocked, because he's of a okay. different caliber. Jay Z's of a different Star caliber. Star said that about Jay Z. Okay, I didn't. I missed that right. part because so it was a little she, fuzzy. The way she said that, he's like, "Hold on, now you're trying now to don't mock me. me. Don't mock me." Yeah, Got Star talk. is is a whole fan. She is not clearly. Got it. Got it. Yeah, wow. So. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've I've I've, I've had the pleasure of seeing some interviews from her son who don't fuck with her. I also read the the clip. I never, I see, I never knew that either. Oh, you, oh, oh, you niggas. Oh, you niggas gonna pay. Oh, you niggas in the comments, y'all gonna pay. <laughs> Wait a minute. So y'all was arguing with me in the comments about this woman and her own son doesn't fuck with her? Her own flesh and blood? Why is that? I need to do a video on that. I need to figure out why. Y'all was coming at me crazy in the comments. Now we need to see why her own family don't mess with her. Because they're the closest to her. Can't be me and you ain't. We ain't. We arguing, fighting in the comments, but we ain't close to her. We going to find out why her son don't mess with her. We going to find that out. It's of her getting arrested over that U-Haul van shit. I keep telling y'all we need an internet SAT test so I can know a few facts about the people that's talking I want to know if you ever got arrested for not returning the U-Haul truck on time. <laughs> Wait, That's going to be... <laughs> Yo, I swear you people in the comments going to get it. Y'all going to get it. <laughs> I'm coming for y'all in the comments, man. I'm coming for my brothers and sisters in the comments. I'm coming for y'all, man. 
So let me get this right. Y'all was defending this chick and she didn't return a U-Haul truck and she went to jail? Huh? That's what y'all telling me? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. My first and last time standing <laughs> and listening to anything that you have to say. <laughs> Look, I'm going to make this sweet or short and sweet. Jaguar Wright is mentally ill. And the sad part is Y'all don't care as long as she's entertaining y'all and talking about all the conspiracies that y'all want to hear. Now, I worked in a mental health field for, and I think I said this before, I worked in a mental health field for a long time. I'm not going to say a long, but a long time. And I talked to a lot of the, the, the psychologists, the psychiatrists, the doctors. I talked to a lot of them all the time. I even got... They even gave me a couple of books to read. You know what I mean? DSM four. I got the DSM four. I read it. The whole thing with the the all of the uh the uh different diagnosis in there. And I'm gonna tell y'all now. What I see from her, now I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not saying I could be wrong. What she's suffering from is what they call delusions of grandeur. That's what she's suffering from, from what I see. You know what I'm saying? She has a lot of uh, very vivid stories. And the thing is, people got to understand, mental illness could be developed or you could be born with it. Or you can, or you can get what they call drug-induced psychosis. You know what I'm saying? Or you could get PTSD, you know, whatever. Could be post-traumatic stress. It, it, could, it could happen to you. I don't know how she got it. That's just my my thought that she's suffering from delusions of grandeur. Now I don't know for sure if delusions of grandeur is actually a a, a diagnosis. I don't know that. You know what I mean, I didn't see that, but I'm just saying this is what I believe she's suffering from. I don't know if she's a schizophrenic or anything like that, but from what I'm seeing, her stories are very, very, very imaginary, imaginative. You know what I'm saying? She just has a lot of imaginary things. Now, and again, it doesn't mean that what she's saying is a lie or, or wrong because it could be the truth, but it could be just the way she sees it, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could she could be seeing things from, from her point of view that's very heightened to a point where she believes that it's much more than what it really is. Like, like someone touching your hand, some people would look at as, oh, oh like, if, say, if you give somebody some money and they take the money from you and you accidentally touch their hand. Some people who are mentally ill look at it as if that's assault. But some people will look at it as, oh, it was just an accident. I think that that's where she's, where it comes in with her. So when he's saying that she's mentally ill, he could be on to something. Now, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and, and say I know for sure because I ain't seen no diagnosis of it, but I can almost guarantee you if she talked to a psych a, a psych doctor, then they're probably going to diagnose her with something. If she can't prove some of this stuff and she's holding on to it, then, yeah, they're going to they're gonna probably diagnose her. And some of y'all will say they trying to lock her up for telling the truth. Some of the things I've heard about her, not even just concerning her son. It was some story about some ashes and her sprinkling ashes. I, I don't understand how y'all could listen to anything this woman has to say. She been in and out of jail, mental hospitals. Oh, so she did go to a mental hospital. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I... <laughs> She did go. So let, let's just let's just listen to her. You can look at the woman and tell she don't take care of herself. She was looking a mess on Pierce Morgan. And and when Star said she was funky, you know why? Because anybody who's not sitting there trying to get entertainment out of her can look at her and tell she look like she don't bathe. She look like she don't wash up. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and this is the thing. It's the same thing with that girl. Is her name Tia 
or Kia, Kaya, whatever her name is, my neck and my back, you notice that all the people who want to be these whistleblowers in the industry, they were once people who were trying to get into the same industry that they're now trying to cancel and expose. They all have the same story. They didn't make it in the industry. Now, it's this person's fault. It's this person's fault I didn't make it. They blackballed me. I was so talented, but they didn't want me to make it. It's pictures out there with Jaguar Wright and Jay-Z hanging out. Well, yeah, that's... That, that's uh. She was already on, I believe, on his Unplugged album. She was on most of the songs. Um, I do believe some people do, uh, they do suffer from, from uh, you know, the isolation thing where they they feel like they're a part of something and they get, they get exiled. Maybe that's what happened with her. And maybe she felt like, oh, you gonna pay, y'all gonna pay, but you got people gotta understand. We don't know her mental history. We don't know if she actually was diagnosed. And I think a lot of y'all don't even want to hear that part. See, the thing is, and, and I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of it on his, and I'm going to give my, my take. See, the thing is, and this, is this, this, is, this, is, this is what really, like, I'm going to say bothers me, but this is what really uh, I think we need to understand, right? I think, I think and I'm going to speak to, I'm just going to speak to us in general, this black, white, whoever, right? We need to get back to back to getting the whole story before we make an assessment. I think when it comes to some people, we have this bias about them and we cho- we just totally believe what it is, right? Again, I'm going to use Drake as a reference. See, Drake, we can say that we have some type of evidence that he's weird. We can say that. You know what I'm saying? The things that Jaguar is saying, we already knew about Diddy. Right. She's saying some of these things, but she's given a lot of vague answers. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. She's given a lot of vague answers. She's not given something that you could say, yeah, um, that really is. Now, again, when Diddy went down. You can take the credit for it because you could say, well, I've been saying this, but everybody's been saying this. It wasn't just you. It was other people saying that Diddy was a weirdo. It wasn't just you. So how we take how how can we take what you say, you know, as gospel? Now with Jay Z is a little bit different because she's out here saying that Jay Z is a monster, but she's not providing anything. But then she goes on record and say she got three victims that's willing to testify against Jay Z and Beyonce. Three. So my question is, why are you holding on to these things if you have all these tapes? How did you get all these tapes, first of all? Who are you to get these tapes, and who gave them to you? You don't have any money. At least we don't know. So how did you get them? How did you obtain these tapes? And how come we haven't seen none of these tapes? I think that it's not so far-fetched for us to ask this question or these questions. You know what I'm saying? I think that we need to start asking these questions because what happens is, when you don't ask these questions and you just allow people to speak like this, you get a whole bunch of people who just side with her because they feel the same way. They don't know nothing. They just feel how she feel. It's just a feeling. They don't really know. So they'll just be like, yeah, I believe her. Be like, well, how do you, why do you believe her? It doesn't matter why I believe her. I just believe her. Be like, well, why do you believe her? It don't matter, dog. I believe her. Be like, so... So we don't need no evidence for nothing now. We just basically going off of, of uh, what people saying. And again, this has nothing to do with Diddy because Diddy, he's been, he's been the diddler. Everybody knows he did his thing. He got caught, whatever. That's a whole nother argument. We seen him what he did to Cassie. That's a whole nother argument. We're talking about Jay. And I'm asking like, she, Joe Buttons literally said that he said, that she said that he was he was doing something with Stevie J. She said she got tape of him doing that. He said that that never happened. Who do we believe? We believe somebody who who 
is known for not lying or known for being honest about a bunch of different things? Or do we believe somebody who says they have all these tapes of everybody but never provided any tapes of anybody? All it takes is one lie to burn the, the house of cards down. That's it. If you got one lie in your story, it's over for you. That's all it takes. So if you lie one time, you could be telling the truth about a million things. And if you lie once, everything you told comes into question. This is like being in a relationship. If you tell your female all these different things and she believes you, and she loves you, and she believes you, and she believes you, it goes for men too, but if she believes you, she loves you, she loves you, and then one day, one day, she found out you lied about one of those things. It could be something tiny. It could be you lied about her nails, that you, you didn't like her nails, but you told you liked her nails. And she won't believe nothing you said after that. Or, not that she won't believe you, she'll be on the fence about believing you. Even if it's something big, you could marry her and say, I love you. She look at you like, do you really love me? You lied about my nails. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand. When she says things like this and she makes up stories, either one or two things. If she's making up stories, there's something wrong with her up here. Because you're making up stories. I believe Joe Buttons before I believe her. I don't believe Joe Buttons was, was messing with, with Stevie G.A. I just don't believe that. And I don't believe that she got that on tape. So if she's lying about that, you got that question. Well, what else is she lying about? That's all I'm saying. And why is her son hating her? You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. 12 o'clock show is over. 6 o'clock show coming up. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate everything, man. Thank y'all for all the donations, man. Y'all really don't understand, man. Like, I'm like right there. I could just do this. I can do this for a living, and this is what I want to do. I want to do this for a living. I want to talk to y'all, give my, give y'all my opinions on things, and I love talking, man. I love it. Once I get to twenty thousand subs, I made my, made up my mind. When I reach, maybe twenty thousand. Once I once I once once I once I reach fifteen thousand subs, I'm going to start doing lives, and then I'm going to actually start getting people to call in, and I could like talk to people. Right in the comments. I'm going to give you, if I give you the link, you can just call right in. I'm like, what's your email? Right in the comments. And I'm going to send an email with like calling this time. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to do. So we're going to get to that eventually. But, you know, you know, progress is being made. All right, man. Y'all have a good afternoon. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>